Today, you're going to learn how to do this in Premiere Pro. Alright, let's jump right in. Control N for a new sequence. Title it. Okay, now if you want a black background on the text, you don't have to do this next step. I want white in this case, so I'll go down to new item, color mat, say OK, and I'll bring it down all the way to the bottom left here. If you want to type in the hex code, it's six Fs, but I'm fine just dragging it down to the lower left. OK, and there we go. There's the white background. Premiere defaults it to be a five second thing. I'll zoom to sequence, which is the button just below the backspace key and above the enter key. And there we go. Now we're seeing the whole thing. Let's add the text, go to title, new title, default still because this is going to say, hey you. All right, we're going to click the text tool. Now choose, uh, you know, the font, do what you want to do. Uh, I'm a big fan of century, century Gothic. Okay, change the color. I don't like going jet black. I like very, very dark gray. I just feel it looks a little bit cleaner, but personal preference. Uh, I like the font size and it's fine. I will center this up. There we go, looks good. There we go. Close that, it's automatically saved. Bring it right over. And again, uh, Premiere's default is five seconds. I only want this to be two and a half seconds. So let's right click on Hey You, Speed Duration, two seconds and 15 frames. There we go, it's two and a half seconds because this is a 30 frame per second project. All right. Now, now let's give it that motion. Go to Effects, in the search bar, 3D. Don't worry about these, these are video transitions. These are the tacky 3D motions of a cube spin and a flip over. We don't want that. We just want to be spinning the object, in this case the text. So grab that basic 3D, drop it onto Hey You, and here we go. Let's twirl down the carrots for tilt and swivel. Now, the way I want this to be, I don't want, it, I don't want the animation to start the second the video starts. I want to have it a few frames in. So. Go, go over a few frames and add our first keyframe. So the first keyframe here, I'm not gonna go too much into what keyframes are, I'm just going to use them and if you're not familiar with them, uh, you're gonna get a crash course right here. The first keyframe, I want this to be starting when it's on its edge perfectly and you can't see it. All right, so in this case, it's negative 90. And then I wanna just step forward a few frames. So I'm hitting right on the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, let's say, okay? adding a new keyframe, and by this point, I now want it to look like I want to swing over, not completely flat at zero degrees, but I, you know, just like right about here. I think that looks fine. Let's also tilt it. I like that. And let it play for a second. I'm gonna hit the space bar. And right when it's towards the end, I'm gonna add another keyframe. So from here to here, I want it to have this motion. Let's just have it spin a little bit more and tilt just a little bit as well. Well, it's, it's almost subliminal, but you know you can still see it. All right, let's all right, let's step forward another few frames. Okay, add the frame, and I want this to end at a zero degree tilt, so it, it's perfectly straight up and down. Because when we swing this thing over, I want it to be like that. There we go. Now, if you can't get it exact, just click on here and type in 90, and it'll take it. All right, so let's watch that from the beginning. All right, you can always hit enter, and that will render the effects. So it plays back easier. Now, I felt that was very choppy. So it comes in, and it stops. and then it picks up again. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this a little bit of a spring and we're going to change the way the way it the way the motion stops and starts at the keyframes. So let's just look at swivel here for now. I, I think tilt is fine, it's not a big deal, it's not that that huge of a motion, but the swivel's quite massive. So uh, with the effects control panel highlighted, press the plus key to zoom in on it. We want this first set of keyframes, okay? So from here, that is when the motion's activated, and then it has this long to hit this mark, okay? Now, this top line 
is the degree, like what the swivel is, what degree it is. And this right here, this bottom line is how fast it does it. Now if you look, it's not moving at all, moves extremely quickly and suddenly just stops like it hit a wall and goes again. Well, I don't want that. All right. I highlight these, I want to right click and say ease in. All right, so it comes up quick, but then it slows down. And this right here, it starts very fast and just kind of slowly eases in to the final point. So let's watch that. Much better. Now, if you want to dial it down a little bit and give a little bit more pep and kind of play with it. All right, I think that looks fine there. Now, what we're going to do is add another title to the end of this thing. So it will transition from this, disappear, and another one is going to come right out afterwards. So let's zoom out. So in the effects control, let's hit uh, minus. So we can see the whole thing. And let's just click and drag and have it so it ends right at the end. Have it end so it so it finishes just at the end of the clip. We can go frame by frame just to make sure we got it. Right there it disappears. So okay, that's short. That's fine. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new title. Double click on Hey You. Now. Up in the upper left hand corner says new title based on current title. I'm gonna title it. Awesome. And what this is doing is it just created a copy of the Hey You, but it's on this part of the timeline here. Where the Hey You is anyway. So for example, if if this is on here and you start typing, it's gonna drive you crazy because if you type anything you're seeing what's underneath it on the timeline. So I'll just click off here so it's pure white. And there we go, we've got a clean plate. You're awesome. Let's take that, I'm gonna make it bold. Increase the font size a bit, I like it. Center that up. Okay, click off, there we go, got the, got the color, looks good, I like it. Close that, it's already saved. Go back to the project folder. And the awesome is right there. Bring that over. Okay, so it ends here and then it pops up. We don't want that. I want it to swivel in just like the other one. So go back to effects, bring the basic 3D over. Now, you can do two things. If you want to have a different motion, you can now start from scratch and do this. Alternatively, you can just take that basic 3D out, go back to here, the Hey You, click where it says basic 3D in the effect controls, control C for copy. Click on awesome, control V. Yep, you have now just copied that motion. Now, I don't, I don't want there to be a pause this time. You, watch, it goes here and there's a pause and then it flips out, I don't want that. What I want is, as the second this thing disappears, I want the other one to flip out. Like it's almost like written on the other side somehow, digitally. So, up here in the effects controls, I'm gonna take that first keyframe, and I'm going to tell it to start right away. There you go. Now let's watch how that looks frame by frame here. I like it. Now, just because I copied it doesn't mean I have to keep everything the same. I can change that tilt as well. So let's say right here, um, I, I want it to actually be tilting up like this. That's fine. Go to the next keyframe. I'm happy with it. So let's just hit enter, render this thing, and see how it looks. Cool. All right. Now, you know, if you want, you can do whatever you want to it. Extend that white a little bit. Control D, have it cross dissolve to white, so it'll end like this. And that's it. All right, that is super basic, but that is how you create a 3D text effect in Adobe Premiere. Hopefully you found that helpful, and best of luck with your project.